Hey everybody, this is Brick Boy HD back to you with another video, and today I will be reviewing the Lego Ninjago movie, Ninjago City Chase. This set ha has 233 pieces, it's set 70607, and it's ages 7 to 14. Comes with five minifigures, Lloyd, Nia, Shark Army Thug, Officer Tuck, and Ham. So, let's take a look at those many figures, starting off with Lloyd. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Uh, he comes with the little soda can accessory. You can kind of see that. No printing on the soda piece. So, let me move that to the side and actually show you the minifigure. So here is Lloyd. Be nice if I could get that to focus. You can kind of see it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay, it's not going to focus, so you can kind of see it. It has a new blonde hair piece here. It's not the same one from the show, as you can see. Then he comes with, he has bright green eyes and kind of reddish brown eyebrows with a smile on one side. And kind of like it's another kind of smile I don't know what to describe that as so he has the his green hoodie with his black pants and you can see his kind of his sweatshirts kind of coming down into the print of the legs I like how that he did that and p printing on the back so yeah that's basically Lloyd Garmadon let me set him to the side and bring in Nia I also put the set on a base plate so it'd be easier to review so She has this new hairpiece that I know of. This hairpiece is brand new, never been on another minifigure. And she has like a silver uh, hair tie for her ponytail and some hair coming down the side. She, on one side, she has a smile over mouse smile and on the other side you can see she's kind of angry and you can see if you if you guys can see uh she has a little freckle right there when i first opened it i thought it was a speck of something but it's actually part of the print i learned so that's kind of cool, more detail. And nice black leather jacket with a black and white striped shirt under it. And plain black arms, no printing on that. Some nice ripped jeans with a belt. And then there's the back of her. And now let me show you guys the Ninjago C City Citizen, it's Ham. He has this new kind of bamboo hat piece that I know of. This is a new piece, never been used. And he, his face is very worried and he has some, a little bit of a beard growing. 
no other no alternate face because if he did he, you could see it so has some a uh, nice dark blue robe with some brown stains on it if you can see plain dark blue arms and some stains on the back and some gray legs with some blue printing from the robe coming down and he has a brown belt so here's a 360 of the figure okay so now i will show you the shark army thug and i guess i think this joke has been made before but the fish is worthy he can hold thor's hammer seems like so that's cool i like how they had thor's hammer piece and a little bright aqua blue fish piece and the hammer coming out of his mouth for some reason but here is the shark army thug he has this uh sock hat that's kind of darkish orange kind of i don't know but then he has an eye patch and a angry face and he also has a beard growing there and no fit spreading on the back because if he did you could see it and some print, nice printing on the torso no printing on the arms a little bit of printing on the back of the torso and then a little bit of printing on the legs so N not that detailed but still a nice figure to get and last but not least officer tuck i think that's how you pronounce it but he has the bad cop helmet from the lego movie so that's a nice reuse of the piece and he doesn't look too happy right now he might be about to arrest this guy which i'll show you that later but he has the black police uniform with a little walkie-talkie and his badge and a belt and some dark blue legs. No printing on the arms. Bit of printing go going on the back of the torso, torso and he has white hands. So now that we have the many figures out of the way let me show you a small part of the set is the little piece i mean police buggy or cart it kind of looks like a golf cart to me to be honest but that's just my thoughts and you can put a officer tuck in here and he has a pair of handcuffs so can arrest somebody if he needs to and you could have him hold on to this but i won't right now i'll just put his arms out like this so there's that and then you could put the put the handcuffs on the shark army guy and i won't right now but you can put him in the back and have officer tuck arrest the shark army guy and drive him off to ninjago police station so now here's uh ham's well uh i'm not sure what to call this it's kind of like a food market stand kind of thing he Looks like he's selling three green apples, two fish, and some cherries over there. Nice build for the thing. And then there's a lamp post with little lanterns on here. And if you wanted to, you could have, like, put the ninja 
one of the ninja in a jumping pose and have them swing on the lamp post. Oh, Lloyd, his hair just came off. There, and you could have him swing around on there. You could put any figure on there, really. I was pleasantly surprised to see that they reused the Spider-Man web piece in black for the rope. So that's cool. Then some little lanterns all across there. Then some signs with a Ninjago language that I can't tell what it says. Then there's some symbols right there, there, and on the sign over there. Not much to look at in this uh, set. It's more of a play set than uh, like a display. It could be a display, but I don't know. There's the little barrel of green apples here you can see those right here in the apple piece two of the fish pieces in silver or dark gray and then we have then it comes with three of the cherry pieces and I forgot to put this on the table, but uh, he, it comes with uh, a dollar bill for uh, ham when Lloyd and Nia are buying something. They could use the hundred dollar bill that it comes with. Comes with the little hundred dollar bill here, if you can see that. It'll focus. There it is. See the hundred. So it comes with a couple of those to use and play however you would like. But like I said, this is basically more of a set to like play for children to play with. It could be displayed if you desired, but I think it's a better play set than a display thing. So, not really much. It's the set cost twenty dollars in the U.S., so not bad of a price. Um, a little bit more expensive than the last Ninjago set I reviewed, the Spinjitzu Training, which was ten dollars. And I should be uh, doing a couple more Lego Ninjago movie reviews. I am planning on getting the Destiny's Bounty sometime soon. So I'll review that. And I'm also planning on getting the big Ninjago City that's $300. Hopefully I can find a way to get my hands on that. But, so, if I can, I'll review that, too. That review probably won't come out till Christmas, around Christmas time, if I do get it. Because I don't have the money to buy it myself at the moment. But, yeah. And as some of the Ninjago movie sets go on clearance, I might, uh or go down in price, I might pick up some of the sets that are a little bit too expensive right now, like the Fire Mech or Ice Tank. I really want those sets, but they're just a little too expensive for me right now, so, yeah. But, like I said, this set is 30, I mean, not 30, uh, 
twenty dollars, and here's the box. Let me. Show you guys that there's the front of the box, the information, main figures, all that, and then there's the back where it shows the officer arresting the bad guy. In this case, the shark army thug. Nia also comes with a cell phone. I didn't show you guys that, but you guys know what that looks like. Then some little play features here, kind of. So, yeah. That was my review of the Lego Ninjago movie, Ninjago City Chase. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.